is the new Firefox OS uh, phone. So one thing that's important to understand about Firefox OS is the entire phone is built on web technologies, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So everything you see here, every application is built the same way. It's all J JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. So that is sort of our native code. And the core of the phone is the Gecko engine, which is the same engine you have inside of Firefox for desktop and Firefox for Android. So every time we add an API to Firefox OS, you'll also be able to use it in Firefox, desktop, and Android. So if you look at these, this is a full-feature smartphone. It has all the application you expect of a smartphone. It has email, which the connection here is really slow, we'll see. email, um, you have, uh, that works really slow here, you have a calendar, um, you have view, day, month, you know, the same things you expect of a normal calendar, you have a photo gallery, One thing that's interesting is we have a Facebook application here, and there's a Twitter application, the usual sort of core set of applications you expect on your smartphone. Oh, I need to log in, sorry. <laughs> it's a live demo. can go back to it and I can, we can do a special you can edit that. Um, what's powerful is that we actually have Facebook contacts also integrated into your contacts application. So if you look at your contacts here, you can import all your Facebook contacts. They show up in here. Um, you can actually send them a message on Facebook directly or post on the wall from your contacts. One thing that's important to understand too is even though it's uh, it's web technologies, it doesn't mean that it has to all be downloaded off the web every time you go to the page. You can actually build an application that lives on the phone entirely and does and works offline perfectly. So timeout's an application that you download the initial application, then it downloads a bunch of data around local nightlife and things to do, and then it works completely offline. So this one, I'm assuming somebody already downloaded it because this is not my phone, so I don't know. But if it is, then um, all this works offline if you have no connection. It's a very nice little simple application of finding things to do. All web technologies, it works very well. Uh, also, we obviously support games. Games are big on any phone. That's what we spent half the time doing, I think, is playing games. So I'll show you a very quick, simple demo of a game here. So this is, once again, a uh, very simple game built out of web technologies. You can see it's smooth, there's no lag or jitter. Obviously, I'm really terrible playing this game, so, you know, that's a quick demo of that one. <laughs> uh, another simple app, uh, Wire is a very nice uh, web app. And this is one that's entirely on the web, so it downloads it every time it goes. Because really, for news, it's going to go get the whole thing every, every time anyway. There's no reason to have it installed on the application. So, but, so the connection here is a little slow. It takes a while to download all the pictures. But it's a very nice, simple, clean application. It works well. Smooth scrolling. games and applications, there's, there's basically different ways that the developer can distribute their applications. They can actually distribute them through our marketplace. They can also distribute them actually through other marketplaces, other companies and organizations that have their own marketplace. And they can also distribute apps directly from their website. And it all works basically the same way. So you can actually do both. If you're a developer, you can put your app in the marketplace. So if people are looking at the marketplace, they can find it. You can also host it on your website directly. If somebody comes to your website, they can install it directly from your, from your site. Um, the other thing we've done is actually we've added the ability to have essentially a directory of online of web applications. So 
This is sort of a marketplace. This is not apps that were submitted to our marketplace. This is actually apps that we know of on the web already as web apps. And you can use them, you can install them. So for example, like the eBay is not an app on our marketplace. an eBay application, right? and you can start it, you can play with it, um, and the good thing about it is you get to try different applications without actually having to install it first, and if you like it, you say, well, this is a pretty cool application, I'll use this more, you can actually right click, sorry, long click, and then add it to your home screen. The other thing that's powerful about this, you actually use, search for a specific topic, find applications re related to that topic. So if I search for you too, I say, well, let me go check out this GrooveShark application. You load it, and not only will it give you the application to play with, um, it'll actually search for, I don't know why I said it's for you. Um, somebody did a search before for that. It'll do a, a search and find results for you too specifically. And then if you like it, you can then want to get added to your home screen. Another thing that's important to our users is the ability to track their costs of how, how much airtime they've used. So we have a usage tracking application built right in. Oh, and somebody's gone way over their limit of uh, 15 megabytes. So <laughs> if you look in here, you'll get a graph showing your, both your 3G and your Wi-Fi usage over time. Obviously, this is where we, where we started at the conference. <laughs> um, I can tell you, well, 50 megabytes isn't really my plan. My plan is really 100, you know, oops. Actually, I'd say 15 gigabytes. This is a conference, probably that's where we'll hit at the end. So let's just say that. And then if you look at that same graph, it won't look so scary. <laughs> near that limit now, right? And if you go back here, you see that now we have plenty of room for our limit. And that's the fun at a high level. Do you have any questions or areas I can demo more?